She don't want us to set, tell y'all the truth. What she's saying is, she said to the seers, to the brothers that the I'm God, the Lord done blessed with the vision to see what's going on in this kingdom. Well, like she's saying, I'm don't see, read on. And to the prophets, and to the prophets, you looking at the Lord's prophets, whether you, I already know you don't know it, so I ain't going to say that. I know you don't know it. Now read on. Prophecy, not unto us, right things. And, and what they come out here and say, prophesy unto us, right things. You don't want us to tell you what's right. If I was out here saying, yeah, man, go on over there. What's that event they have in the Southwest? In the water, feel the water, smell the water. Oh, something in the water. Yeah, go on over there to something in the water. Find the biggest blunt you can and find you the big bootiest asshole out here. Everybody be out here, yeah, man, we going down. You want to hear that old kind of ignorant stuff. But when we come out here and try to tell you how to save your life, I'm mad with you for that. I hate you for that. But you don't want us to tell you what's good for you, sis. All we're trying to tell you is what's good. Whether whether you know it or not, and I'm going to end on this. Whether you know this or not, you my sister, I'm your brother, and we are related somewhere down the line. And guess what? That's right. I love you. That's right. Shalom. No, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Give these generals a beautiful hand. The crack epidemic is hell. Heroin is hell. Like said, Fentanyl is hell. Marijuana is hell. K2 is hell. All of these drugs are hell. Right. That's why people use it trying to escape. It's like this. There's no escape. You're just digging yourself deeper into hell. That's it. Hell is a condition. I used to let me just say one other thing, man. I, I got to get you on the scripture. You go to 2 Timothy 3 and 7. You go to 2 Timothy 2 and 23. That's double heavy. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm going to go to these. And this here, I, and with this, I'm going to be done for the day, man. I didn't even want to come out here and speak. I just wanted to come out here and, and, and support the brother. Is what I wanted to do. But I, it's hard to do that whenever you come out here because we just don't want to learn nothing new. We want they, they talk about I'm way back living in the um the old ages, the stone ages. Well, hell, when are you gonna change? When you gonna come up to to what's new? This is new. We bring it out because ain't nobody have the Bible. They ain't nobody have the truth. They didn't have to understand it till we came out here. And guess what? You hate us because we do have the truth. Because we do have the understanding. That's why you hate us. You hate us, but guess what? No matter what you say, I'm gonna love you today. Nah. Damn right. I call my wife a homo bitch when she get out of line too. I call her goddamn bitch. I say shut your mouth, bitch. And you know what she do? She stick her lips out, poke her lips out this far, and eventually she stop being mad. Her lips start to come back in, and we put, keep on operating just like we supposed to. And I have to put her ass in her place. And I ain't never had to touch her. I ain't never had to touch her. I touch her with this rod, but not with my hands. Read. It's the book of Second Timothy, chapter three, verse seven. Ever learning? What did the Lord say? Ever learning? Some Negroes know everything. They what? Ever learning, oh, niggas that you. don't know how to shut their mouth, they what? Ever learning, right they here. ever learning, and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Because they ever learning and learning everything out here in the world and not what's right, they never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And they stay lost their whole goddamn life. Just stay lost by themselves, lonely, miserable, by themselves, their whole goddamn life. Miserable as hell. Come on. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 23. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid. Hold on. <laughs> when I give you this mic back, you was doing a perfect job at it. What did the Lord say? But foolish. But foolish and unlearned questions. And unlearned questions. If these questions that they coming at you is beneath you, man, keep teaching. Because some people don't want the truth. They just want to come out here and disrupt the, the teaching. They want to disrupt you waking up pe other people. Read on. Is that all? Avoid. Avoid them. Avoid them like the plague, man. Let Leave them here. And when Christ come back, let them die. Because they love this goddamn place. They love this this cesspool called America. They love it. They love the white man. And they, But they, guess what? They hate us. And But hey, blame us for everything. But we'll never blame the white man for anything. Oh, I forgot. That nigga think they white too. Go ahead. Give this general a powerful hand. Breaking it down. Yeah. Yeah. He's 
Like a man, they live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven, and it's ours. I'd rather die. 